Hi everybody, Al Bernstein here with a preview and our keys to victory on Floyd Mayweather against Marcos Maidana number two. Now, I am in the Mayweather gym where uh, Floyd Mayweather has been preparing for this fight. Uh, and so what more appropriate place to talk about that match. Now, of course, everyone knows the first match between these two men ended up in a, a majority decision win for uh, Floyd Mayweather with one judge scoring at a draw and Marcos Maidana doing well enough in that fight to create the first rematch that Floyd Mayweather has had since back in 2002 when he fought Jose Luis Castillo in their, their first fight and it was very close and controversial in a decision he won and he was forced or decided at least to fight a rematch. Well this is the very next time that's happening low these many years after and the reason is because Marcos Maidana was able to make some good things happen in their first fight. The 31-year-old Argentine Maidana fought a terrific fight against Floyd Mayweather in their first fight, especially over the first six or seven rounds. Early in the fight, especially in the first round, he attacked Mayweather, got him against the ropes, and while there were some roughhouse tactics and not everything landed for Maidana, he was able to do very well and carried that momentum through most of the first portion of the fight. The second part of the fight was a little different story with Mayweather doing well enough to end up winning on two cards. But for Maidana, with his relatively new trainer, Robert Garcia, we saw nuances that we had not seen before. A much better jab and uh, some terrific body work uh, that he sustained throughout most of the fight. And all this despite having only a five-week training camp. As for Mayweather, the 37-year-old suffered a cut for the very first time, amazingly, in his professional career from a clash of heads. And there was a period in that fight where they might have gone to the scorecards because of that cut, and some people were wondering if he would in fact win the decision if that happened, but they were able to do a great job of stopping the cut. And, of course, as I mentioned, Mayweather was able to come on strongly in the last part of that fight and end up winning a majority decision. And now, let's take a look at the keys to victory for both fighters. For Marcos Maidana, it's important that he not only use the better jab that he has right now, but use it as a double jab, and then once he pushes Floyd Mayweather to the ropes, attack as he did the first, in the first fight uh, by going to the body and throwing multiple punches. He can't fade in the latter part of this fight. Now, he came in uh, to camp... Uh, with more time to get ready for this fight. He only had five weeks for the first fight, he had up to eight weeks this time, and he plans to come in at a lower weight than he did last time uh, so that he and his trainer Robert Garcia feel he'll have more in the tank for the later rounds. He needs to throw left hooks to set up the right hand. When he did that in the first fight, throwing hooks to the body and to the head, it ended up setting up that overhand right, especially when he had Mayweather against the ropes. As for Mayweather, staying off the ropes is a key for him. There is no percentage for him being there where Maidana was able to use his rough tactics and also land a lot of body punches and overhand rights as well. The right hand is a tremendous punch for Mayweather. It always has been. He can throw it as a lead punch or he can use it after his superb jab. And he's got to counter better when he does get to the ropes. Of course, he doesn't want to be there, but at some point he probably will. And he needs to counter better uh, and throw more punches off the ropes that are effective and then wheel away and get off those ropes. So the stage is set for what should be a mega event uh, at the MGM Grand on Saturday, September 13th with Floyd Mayweather and Marcos Maidana hold their rematch. It is a match that will command worldwide attention while Floyd Mayweather believes that he won the first fight handily and figured out uh, Marcos Maidana in the second part of the fight, Maidana and his people, for their part, believe that Maidana can even bring more to the table, and they certainly think it was a lot closer fight than Mayweather is suggesting. A key element in this fight will be how Kenny Bayless referees the fight. He's been named as the referee, and Floyd Mayweather was very critical of Tony Weeks, uh, who refereed the last fight. Weeks, one of the best referees in boxing, Mayweather's camp feels like Maidana got away with too much. Uh, some of the roughhousing tactics on the inside, including some low blows, etc. How much will Kenny Bayless be a factor in this fight? That's one of the many issues and one of the many, many side questions regarding this fight. 
Well, I will be uh, delighted to be on the broadcast team uh, for uh, Showtime Pay-Per-View, which is where people can see the fight. And, of course, we're going to have full coverage leading up to and after this fight on the Boxing Channel. So please join us for that.